The Xiaomi CC9 Pro is definitely turning some heads with that never seen before camera system. I got hands on very quickly with the Xiaomi CC9 Pro or the Mi Note 10 as it's called outside of China. Another great phone from Xiaomi and some really good hardware upgrades. So first off, we have the much bigger battery than normal, much bigger than Xiaomi phones and much bigger than Android phones too. 5,260 milliamp hours but the phone does not feel excessively thick or heavy. You get 30 watt fast charging on that battery too, and for the first time in a Xiaomi phone, a curved OLED display. I really like the design and the feel of this phone. In the product renders, it did look a lot like the Huawei P30 Pro, and given the camera system, I thought this was Xiaomi's version of that phone. But actually in person, it has its own characteristics and own design that definitely sets it apart from the P30 Pro, but I will compare them at the end of this video. USB-C, mono speaker at the bottom, and a headphone jack down there too. Given that camera system is so expensive, Xiaomi went for the Snapdragon 730G processor in this phone. That is the best mid-range chipset that you can get from Snapdragon right now. For most people, it will be plenty powerful enough to do everything you want, including playing games, and it can fully manage all of the camera system at the back of the phone. The top and bottom bezels are a lot smaller than I anticipated and that small camera bump at the top houses a 32 megapixel sensor. Even though it does look similar to the P30 Pro, it is definitely a Xiaomi smartphone and it keeps a lot of the design aspects that I'm familiar with Xiaomi phones. As you can see, the curve is not extreme. It's certainly not the waterfall type displays that we've seen recently. So coming on to that Penta camera system, the main event is a brand new massive 108 megapixel main camera sensor. You you also get an ultra wide, a two time zoom, a five time zoom, and a macro lens. Of course, I will be putting this through a complete camera test. Subscribe if you want to see that one. The main camera takes 27 megapixel images as standard, which is a lot higher than most other camera phones. And the zoom was really good for a Xiaomi phone. Never seen anything like that before in a Xiaomi device. And of course, in the camera test, I will be comparing it to the P30 Pro. As when you look at the functions of the CC9 Pro, it definitely goes head to head with that phone. As you can see, you get five dots on the screen that it is very easy for you to then choose which camera you want to take photos with. A cool feature I found is that when you take 108 megapixel shots in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you get this square trackpad so that you can move around the image. Because you can crop into those images a lot, I think it's a really cool feature. And here we have it quickly against the P30 Pro, which it will be going head to head against. I think the design stacks up really well against the P30 Pro. The bottom bezel is a little slimmer and the design overall feels just as premium as that phone. As I said, it definitely has a lot of similarities with the P30 Pro, but it does keep its own unique identity as a Xiaomi smartphone. What are some things that I would have loved to have seen in the phone that it doesn't have? There is no wireless charging, and I would have loved to have seen the latest processor in this one, but both of those things would have upped the price. As it stands, the cheapest option in China anyway comes at 2,799 RMB. The premium edition adds an extra lens to the main camera unit. That apparently boosts the performance of the main camera, making it able to go head to head on DxO Mark with the Mate 30 Pro. All in all, a fantastic phone. I can't wait to test it out and give you guys the camera test. Subscribe if you wanna see that. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.